life in prison for the man who murdered a retired St. Louis police captain. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins looks at how the family of David Dorn reacted to that decision. Well, 26 year old Stefan Cannon was found guilty of first degree murder in July in the death of retired St. Louis police captain David Dorn. Today, Dorn's family said justice was served. It's peace knowing that um, Stefan Cannon will never be on the street and be able to hurt another person again. It was an emotional decision for the family of retired St. Louis police captain David Dorn. Cannon was sentenced to life in prison without parole for killing Dorn during protests in June of 2020. They got justice for our family. It, um, it meant a lot to us that uh, this man will never see the light of day. Cannon was convicted of six charges, including first degree murder. Dorn was shot and killed while responding to a burglar alarm at a friend's business in North St. Louis. Dorn confronted looters who had broken into the store during a protest of George Floyd's death in Minneapolis. Police say Cannon fired 10 shots at Dorn, hitting him four times. Dorn spent 43 years in law enforcement. He was a longtime St. Louis Police Department captain and later chief of Moline Acres Police Department before retiring. No one wins in this situation. Everybody is hurt. We're hurt. His family's hurt. Uh, no one wins, but we are just glad that uh, justice prevailed today. Dorn's daughters say their father would have celebrated his birthday on October the 29th. We thought this was very fitting that this is happening during his birthday month. Yes. He would have turned 80, so, you know, we would have probably had a big celebration for him as we always do. And so mm -hmm. it's just the timing couldn't be more perfect for justice to be served for our father. There are no accolades, no foundations. There is nothing that can bring our father back. We want him back. We would prefer to have that, but we just, we're happy that justice was served today. At the sentencing, Stefan Cannon apologized to the family, but says that he is not the person who killed Dorn. Reporting in downtown St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.